Hello everybody, this is this is the Bugsy. This is the Ansaka Maru. And yeah, we're gonna watch this video oh and then we're gonna tell you some stuff. Nightmare personified. Torture people, but fucking A, this is just. Ooh, I don't know why, man. I don't know why this is so unsettling. It's because they're all dressed up as clowns, on. Yeah, but we like clowns. Yeah, but not these kinds of clowns. It's unreadable. So it's like, I don't get that shit. He brought the fucking hamburger. <laughs> 
Oh yeah! Crimes against robbers! This is some shit that no one would see! God dang! Better than better than freaking better than freaking the Avengers right now, God! Oh! She bit off that man's dick! No! No! Oh god! I I think it's gonna be a little sick. I'm not even kidding. But I see, I know you ain't kidding. I, I'm feeling a little sick too. Like, I'm just seeing that nurse sit through that old lady shit. I just, I don't, I don't know how I feel right now. Oh god dang, oh shit! That lady to the, that lady to the ran! Oh fuck, no! Oh god, he's using, he's using a baby! Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, she's dead. That kid's dead, yeah. God dang! I didn't run up get up. Like, why would everybody in that situation get up right away and start beating the motherfucker up? Are you okay, Ron? I don't like where this is going, Bugsy. Sister, I have a feeling that Ron is going to be dead. Like, he's going to be dead. Oh, Ron, you can't do that. But I will say this. Yeah. Even though Zeke was the, our biological sister, you know. Yeah. Fuck you, Ron! Yeah. I mean. Fuck you for that one. Every time I talk about Zig, you get pissed off. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. And this is how they this is how they doing the whole like hold on. This is how they doing this is how they doing YouTube now. Uh hey when they be making these subtle changes, man. They don't even be warning you any they don't even be warning people anymore, it just happens. Yep. So, on a lot of people want to know about like uh, our D and D days. Oh, a lot of people want to know about that. Okay. Well, me and I took a well, me, Har, Bugsy, and Zan at the time. We'd be playing D and D. Now, Bugsy would always be like this. What? Like, what were you? What were you, Bugsy? Were you a? You had some sort of Viking, but you were you. We were some sort of Viking. Uh, I was a thief. <laughs> it's kind of funny and ironic. And I think uh, Har was a berserker. And uh, that's the shit we get into with some of these like these little quests and stories and whatnot. Bugsy, I remember one time. Like this, this one campaign was like in a coliseum, and like, so we were all fighting a minotaur. But Bugsy's, Bugsy's crazy self, freaking puts down his sword and says, "I'm gonna fucking pile drive it." And I'm, I'm looking at I'm, me hard looking at each other like. No, you're not, Bugsy. No, you're not. He's like, if I roll a 20, yes, I will. And I did. Bugsy, that would be the most... That is the most memorable moment of me me and you playing D&D. Just you fucking rolling 20 and slamming that fucking Minotaur into the ground. <laughs> what did Zan say? Like, you freaking, like, smashed his head in so hard. His, like, head exploded on impact. Yeah, I think something like that happened. I remember. I remember there was like a. Oh, do you remember the? Do you remember the caves of the Forgotten? Oh uh, yeah, and uh, how I how my character basically uh, which basically still was dark. <laughs> my Antoinette, because even though I legally changed it, it's still mousy that. Certain members of my family, thank you, Bugsy. Yeah, can't say it hurt. Can't say I, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm so weird. 
Uh, I gotta, I gotta close this. I know, I know Victor wants to talk to me right now, but uh, I gotta, to close this out, so he doesn't, so he knows I'm busy. So, anyways, oh yeah, so the came from the forgotten. On Sakamaru's greedy motherfucking self, took us down like. It says, like, this old man told us about a cave, right? That's how the story went. Told us about a cave. Azagamaru's crazy ass, like, runs full force into the cave. He had a higher, he had a higher, um, was it speed or dexterity? I forget. It was dexterity or, I think, agility. He had a higher agility than all of us. So, he, so he's rushing full speed into the cave like fucking Sonic on crack. And then, like... There, you know, he opens the chest. You want me to? You want me to? Tell, you want to tell this part of the story on? It was a man-eating chest, and it almost ate my face. Yeah, until you moved out the way. But I thought that I thought that shit was funny. That's what you. That's but that's what you get for always like you. You like that's what you do. Like you always like. Whenever there was treasure involved, you you just go like, Treasure! I roll a 20, I'm out! <laughs> like, yeah, I probably roll, I, I roll like const, I did roll like constant 20s every now and again. Like, not every time, but I was like, Fuck this shit, fool! <laughs> every time, man. Guys, it never failed. Every goddamn time. But like, okay, okay. So my strength is crazy, so that's why I was able to freaking um, slant, you know, fucking give the give the Minotaur the Wario Grand Slam. <laughs> that's what he calls it. But uh, so anyways, he gives the he gives he gives the so. Basically, there was a fucking, um, you know, a seer, or an oracle or something. It's, so, me and Bugsy were, like, listening to what the oracle had to say. But Har, Har just like, oh my god, it's a lynch, and attacks it. And, and, like, we don't know what's going on in this campaign. This is, like, something that Zane cooked up. And yeah, it was a lynch, and we were like, "How the fuck did you know that, Har?" He's like, "Because." Okay, I will never forget this, but he said, "Because it's the way she talked," and I'm like, "Okay." And you know that, and you know this how me and me and I, it's like Mara just shook our heads, like, "How did Har even know that?" Unless he was peeking at freaking Zan's campaign before we started. You know, and that, you know, and never, and I repeat, never make Bugsy a dungeon master. You know, if I'm masochistic, he's sadistic. Okay, now, now that's, that, that's, that's hard. You, that you're being unfair on. That, I would never do that. Yes, you would. Remember, remember the, remember the infinite, remember the freaking, remember the chest of infinite teeth, the freaking chamber of infinite, infinite pain, the mind break room. I can't believe my character survived most of the shit you put, put my character through. God damn. See, guys, never make Bugsy the Dungeon Master. He will make your he will make your character's life a living hell. And I mean that shit. I am not fucking kidding. So yeah. But you know but you know, it was great, guys. It was it was great. No, it wasn't. It wasn't great, you bastard. <laughs> Okay, okay, here's another one. We had some random dude being a dungeon master, so me, Sam, Bugsy, and Hard could, like, do a, do a campaign together. 
and basically, um, I forget we we did a lot of homebrew campaigns when we weren't doing the when we weren't doing the regular like uh, mostly the regular stories. But even then, we divert from that a little bit. So we had like special characters. Bugsy had like I mean, most of us we could choose whatever. But uh, Bugsy chose being the sand. I chose. I chose, what was I? I wasn't Kamen Rider or anything. I chose to be, what did I choose to be? What the fuck did I choose to be? I don't even remember. I think I was still my thief character with a few slighter, uh, with slight advantages. And Haruma, like, chose to be someone like Lil Mac. Like, he was called Lil Har, and it was like, what the fuck, man? So, anyways, Bugsy's Bugsy Sand, basically the real origins of Argos, were, you know, like my characters, like trying to steal from uh, Argos, and Argos goes, Bugsy, can you say it? You really think you could steal from me, huh? Uh, what are you talking about, man? I, I, uh, Hey, you know, here's your, I just, I, your gold, you know, fell out of your pocket, so, don't you lie to me. Okay, 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 okay. You seem like a powerful fellow. I will not be taking your gold. Just, just let me go. My character lets him go. And, uh, basically... Your character basically takes my character to a tavern and they start chilling, drinking, yo, know, drinking, drinking the finest ale. Who's, who's the dungeon master? Some random dude that uh, Zan knew. Um, but the dudes they they, they drink the finest ale until like Harima and like Zan's uh, characters came in and they were like, and they were like, they were they came in like bloody battered and beaten because they are fighting the dragon of oh what do we call the dragon um what did we call it the dragon of balls deep no we didn't call it the dragon of balls deep did we I'm not even sure fuck the dragon of balls deep anyways it was, no, it was the dragon of Cleghorn. Cleghorn? Yeah. Seriously, you sure it was Cleghorn? I, I remember something else. Pretty sure it was Cleghorn, dude. Anyways. So, anywho. So, anyways. Cleghorn. So, so they basically talk about the quest and we both... You know, our characters go. I got Key Blast. I, I got, like, a Key Blast, a Command Man Wave, and a few other things. Har, like, on, on, what did you have? Like, a Poison Dagger, uh, Smoke Bombs, um, a Ring of Infinite Stealth, because my stealth, because when I rolled, when I first made the character, my stealth, uh, my agility and dexterity was kind of shit, so I found a ring that actually uh, kind of remedied those remedied those uh, bad stats of mine. So we basically so the three so the three of us were ba so basically the four of us we uh, went to go fight the dragon, the dragon of Cleghorn. There was like five freaking minotaurs. And this was like this is this story is like after Bugsy like in one campaign, like just with WWE and just started fucking like wrestling the Minotaurs, and I'm looking at him like, dude, this ain't even the character that you did it with, but you're still doing it, and and I give you that smug smile saying, yeah, but isn't it fun? Like seriously, every time you got a character with a little bit of strength, you you get you get one of your characters to fucking 
pile drive a minotaur. It's because it's fun. How is it fun, Bugsy? Why did you always you, you always kept rolling? You always kept rolling twenties too. I mean, did you have loaded dice, motherfucker? No. What? What makes you think that you had loaded dice? No, I didn't. It's the same dice we always use. I just I mean you got lucky. Well, I got lucky more than you did. Yeah, I realize that. So, anyways, uh, me, so, anyways, we find the, like, there's a whole bunch of Minotaurs. Odds, on has, like, a lot of charisma points. Like, what was it, 30 charisma? Yep, 30 charisma. I also seduced a lot of chicks in some of the campaigns we used to do. To mostly, like, to help us out. <laughs> like, lady guards. Man, there were always, like, lady guards in most of the campaigns. And, you know, basically, we'd always either get caught, or we'd either get caught doing something, or, or Har insults when, Har or me would insult the king, and we'd get thrown in the dungeon. And, basically, there'd be a lady guard, and, uh, on with, like, seduce the guards. And we'd be able to get out. <laughs> yeah, we did. And I got, and, and my character got some every time. Yeah. It it yeah, that's pretty much what happened. But back to click, not back to the dragon click horn. Um. So, anyways. Oh, wait a minute. I remembered. I remember. Like, okay, we're getting to the dragon, we're getting to the dragon, and it was guarding, like, this massive amount of treasure. Like, I think Odd's gonna try and, like, sideswipe the dragon so he can get to the treasure. But he finds out the dragon's a... The, he finds out the dragon's a female, and he seduces it. Hey, Bugsy, you say it like it's a bad thing. Like, you roll the 20s, and he just seduces the dragon and proceeds... To fuck it. I am not fucking kidding you. I shit you not. In this campaign. That one of my. That one of Zan's friends. Did. Asakamaru. Rolled a 20. And he fucked the dragon. Like he's like. Go get the treasures. Ooh. God. Dang. Of course you'd remember that. You fucked it man. You just. You got charisma and you fucked it, okay? I'm not gonna forget that moment. That was the weirdest time we've ever played Dungeons and Dragons and you just kept fucking it. Hey, my character better decided to had a freaking had drag had have human dragon kids. What you gotta say, Bugsy? I say that was weird and sick and kind of kind of an abomination towards nature, but hey, whatever. And the dragon was enjoying it. How did you even, you know, how did your character even fuck the dragon? You, you don't got a big enough, your character didn't have enough, your character wouldn't have what I think he'd have to please a dragon. It still happened. Doc of the, Doc of the Black Cloak did fuck a dragon. And he did satisfy the dragon. And that's why we didn't die. So, ha! See, see, and you were like, no, we should attack it. And Har was like, no, we should sneak up on it. No, I had the bright idea to fuck it. I had the bright idea to fuck it. So, hey, what you gotta say? You're a dick. And a weird motherfucker. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, hey, you didn't complain. You you weren't complaining then. You had enough freaking you had enough freaking gold you had enough freaking gold, like everybody had enough freaking gold to get their own castle. And you were the only one that did. <laughs> oh yes, Castle Castle Frenbach. Castle Frenbach. I remember that castle. In the breeze, in the distance. 
where the trees are so right, stands Castle Fredenbear, looking so, so nice. And it's like, you had the castle, but you weren't a king, and you know, like, we, we continued you having a castle, and you kind of, like, it wasn't really a kingdom, it was just you having a castle, like, fucking around with it. Like, bandits would come. Your, your, your character is freakishly strong. Like, I think you were in your, I mean, you were in your same character in medieval times. And your character was so freakishly strong. You freaking body slammed. You freaking, and that was like your thing of choice. Like, body slamming, like, all your, all your enemies. You were like, oh! <laughs> Roll a 20 and go, oh! <laughs> I roll an 8, I get hurt. But you roll, like, you pull luck out of your ass, and then roll a 20 and go, oh! I'm like, what the fuck is going on? That was the, that was one of the best campaigns. Especially when I, especially that one where you assassinated the king and we had to fight all the fucking guards. Yeah, that was, that was, that was crazy. Hey, they weren't supposed to know that he died, but your freaking stealth was so bad. I was like, oh, do, we re do you really want to assassinate the king? Seriously, man. We can't, we can't be, we can't be doing this. And you were like, and I, and I remember I said, Bugsy, just let me do this. Dark, dark of the Shadow Cloak freaking killed the king, but everybody hears it because he was bleeding out, you eesh! That still made me mad because we could have went without a hedge and took everything, but no! 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 We could have went without a hedge, took everything, and been gone like don been gone like Donkey Kong Slong. But no, no. Your stuff was jacked up and people hurt you. And plus you rolled like a 10. You rolled like a, no, you rolled like a 15 or, or a 18 or something. And you killed them, but everybody heard it. And then we, and then I, and then like me, Zan, and Harriman had to fight them off. You were too busy stealing the gold like usual. You see what I'm talking about? It's a common theme. He either seduces or Odd either seduces or he just rushes for the gold. Hey, 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 hey. Like I said before, you weren't complaining the time you weren't complaining at the time. You had enough to you had enough to get a fucking moat in your castle. So whose fault was that really? Who's I mean, seriously, you should be thanking me for that one. Your character had a fucking, fucking castle for generations and generations. You should be thanking my character, Dark of the, Sh Dark of the Shadow Cloak. What are you guys talking about? We're talking about D and D. Oh yeah, my berserker character. Does anybody? Hey, hey, hey. Does anybody remember what my berserker character? character's backstory was. Oh yeah, you, he, he was from a, um, he was from a distant land, um, that was, that was controlled by barbarians, and what else did he do? He killed all the barbarians when he was 13. Killed all the barbarians when he was 13, and made it to... Where's the place we'd always be at? Like, where would be the main place? Because we used to make it up. Um, didn't, didn't, um, didn't we make something up in Elfish that meant, like, shit or something like that? Because we, we were making up elf words and shit, and I remember, um, I remember, I totally fucking remember, like, it was an elfin word, I don't remember what it was called, but that was our place, that was like the place that uh, our characters wouldn't have it, 
And Bugsy, your thing was a saying all the time. So you were listening. Yeah, you didn't want to do it any other way other than uh, you'd use LeGrade every now and again. Because LeGrade was one of his D&D characters, but like other than that, you'd use the saying, dude, and he was OP as shit. I mean, most of our, you know, if most of our conflict, if most of our conflicts that I got us into was always solved by flirting and, uh, you know, seducing and taking the treasure, yours is always like, Argos does a key blast and destroys every fucking guard. Like... Like he'd blow them, he'd blow them up to smithereens. That's how fucking crazy it would always be. And Har, if he gets like if his character gets damaged to a certain extent, he'd go berserk and like fucking kill us on occasions until Bugs could cut off his head. Yeah, I do remember that. You were a bastard for that. Your freaking character was beating the shit out of us. What do you expect me to do? Let let my character just have you do just have my character sit there and take it? Shit. Hell no. Oh my god. See that's the thing, that's the thing, guys. Like, seriously, Har's character, yes, sometimes in certain adventures we'd have, he'd get hurt he'd like like it's part of his rage. it's part of his character's rage. And like his character would basically get hurt almost almost like three hit points. It's like his freaking strength would resurge and he would he would like his berserker rage would not distinguish between friend or foe. And he would beat the shit out of you. Like if you were in our if you were in our party uh, back in the days of D and D, his character would knock the shit out of you or kill you until we got the flute of calmness. Now, the flute of calmness was something we used on Har Har's character a lot because we were tired of getting the shit knocked out of us. So we play it so. I would t so my character would be good with that. So he'd play the flute and be like, and then, boom, his character would be calm, like really, really calm. What was his attack whenever he get it? When his rage would peak? Um, it was somewhere around the thirty range, and like, I don't know, like his, like it's. Like, I remember in the role book, like, Berserkers have, like, I don't know, higher attack or something when they get hurt. So we got our asses kicked quite a lot by our stupid Berserker character. I like, even, like, there was one time he got mind controlled by a sorcerer, so I'm like, oh, god damn it, and he broke the flute. Oh yeah, I remember. I was so pissed. I was so pissed after that. I was like, you just go, Dr. Matthew, you gonna let him just break the flute? We need the flute. We need the flute to survive. <laughs> yeah, uh, in retrospect, I shouldn't have picked the Berserker. No shit, man. Seriously, god dang. Oh man, guys, I was thinking we could actually do a D and D campaign if anybody's like, you know, we could get some people and we could start a D and D campaign with the way you guys think. <sighs> Sounds like a plan. I'll uh, I'll. I'll find my old character sheet for my Berserker character and we'll have some fun. No Berserker character! No! Har, no! No! Fucking no! I'm not with that shit! We do that again, we're gonna die again! No! 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 
You get a you get you get the other races, but you are not getting that fucking berserker. I had nightmares about that shit actually, like and freaking uh his monotone berserker voice. I shall I shall kill thee. Yeah, that was the thing. I shall kill thee. You guys suck. You guys see, but I gotta admit that was pretty funny. Oh no, it wasn't, you bastard! You kicked our asses every freaking time you got hurt. Like every time you're low, you're just going, Rrr! and then we all fucking have to pay for it every time. You know, we stopped playing. I think we stopped playing D and D because of that shit. Because hard, you. You were so fucking stubborn and you never wanted to change your character to something else. That was some hard times, man. That was some fucking hard times. That was some hard... No, no, buddy. That was some hard ass times, man. Freaking Jesus. I mean, some of the times we didn't even complete the quest because Hard's character would freaking dominate us. Even Bugsy's character, which is supposedly OP, he even got his ass kicked. Or he would be stunned or knocked out. My character would get mutilated. And then Bugsy would have to fight, go go to different places to actually revive my character. And then here I am, sitting at the table going... I'm looking at Harry real like... You son of a bitch. And, you were, and uh, Bugsy had to learn the spell that actually could bring me back. And I was like, Thank God! Yeah, because I had to go on these long quests to just bring, uh, to bring, uh, on, like, to bring Dark from the sh Dark from the Shut up, Cloak Clan, back every fucking time because Har had to do it. Oh, okay. But let's talk about the one campaign where you basically, where you basically used the dude attack that didn't, that didn't kill us, that didn't just kill us all, but killed, but killed the world. You were just hanging around in space and we were just like, fuck it, we're done. Nah, man, I only did that one time. Don't even... Hard, don't you even dare say that that was worse than what you kept doing. See, see, but I... Guys, that's one of the things you need to know about playing D&D &D with us. Prepare for the unpredictable. I mean, if anybody wants to have a D&D &D campaign with the three of us, I'm down with it. I am literally down with it, if anybody's, like, really interested. But, uh... Har, seriously, keep your Berserker in that shoebox. Keep its character sheets and everything about it in that goddamn shoebox. Oh, fine. It's not like I wanted to use him anyway. You bet not! Fuck! I mean, I want to do D&D again, but man, I am not dealing with that shit again. Well, actually, don't you still got this battle to bring to bring me back? I can't do it to myself if I get killed. Oh yeah, yeah. Seriously, hard. Keep that berserker in the goddamn shoebox. You guys are dicks. Okay, hey, fine. I'll be a human or something else. Cool. You know, why we're talking about D and D is because I started playing uh Neverwinter and I kinda got back into the D and D spirit. Even though it doesn't really it doesn't really replace or change it really doesn't replace the met the imagination you can have when playing a tabletop D and D game, but it's still pretty fun. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. For the Steven Universe review, probably some other stuff will be probably in between that. But I'll see, but I'll see you guys later. And never, never mess with Elkhorn. 
Never mess with Elkhorn the Berserker. He will fuck you up. He will fuck you up. I'm not even fucking kidding. You guys suck. Elkhorn was, wasn't a bad guy. He was a good guy. He just got angry a few times. He got angry a few times? I remember 30 times in 30 different campaigns where we'd get fucking murdered. And we'd have to fucking start over every time. Like, I'd have to get, like... Like, you can never kill my same character, so that's why I kept him around. But, like, I didn't bring LeGrate or... Or Shuze. Because you would fucking kill... You would, you would try to fucking kill them. So, basically, yeah. I'll see you guys... We'll see you guys later. We're gonna probably think of a D&D campaign. And probably play it. Har, you dirty, dirty bastard, do not bring that berserker in this campaign or I will fucking beat you down with a bat and a sandwich. Don't make me do it. We'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Elkhorn forever. Fuck Elkhorn! See you guys later.